this is also being uh, live streamed uh, on YouTube as uh, was the last video. Uh, today what we are going to, going to be looking at is data validation and drop down lists in uh, Excel. Now, uh, what data validation does is it allows you to set up conditions in Excel to limit the type of input that you are expecting a user to punch in into you know, in a particular cell or a series of cells. Uh, that allows uh, you to make sure that the data uh, is uh, entered exactly, what the, the type of data entered is exactly what you were expecting to be entered. Uh, and that makes the, your spreadsheet less error prone to data entry errors. Now, uh, let's get started. Uh, like I said, uh, this video is going to have two parts to it. One would be the data validation itself, and then using data validation to create uh, drop down lists. Okay. Now, what we have here is a company with uh, these are the list of employees that we have. Okay. And what we are going to be doing is uh, making like a timesheet, what time they clocked in and what time they clocked out, and how many days in the week they worked. Uh, so we'll be using data validation and drop down list to achieve this. Okay, so this is the database of uh, employees. So here's the uh, data entry part. Now, what, what we're going to be doing is we will be going to do the drop down list part first and then the data validation actually validating the data as a second part of the video now in the, these are cells uh, two to the row number two to ten uh, is we are expecting only these names to be entered nothing else so we, we are going to be using data validation and the uh, uh, option and using that option to create a drop down list and only allowing users to enter these names and to make things easier for the user, what we'll do is we'll make a drop down list of these names. So the person using this sheet would not actually have to type in Bill or Chris, but he could just select these names from a drop down list. Now this, in this case, not really that uh, difficult to actually type these names in, but supposing what you have is uh, your, your inventory of your store and you have these, these are your part numbers. So that could be uh, really prone to errors, you typing errors. Uh, there, it is really important that you have uh, the part numbers as drop down list so you can the user can just select which part they want and not worry about uh, you know, making mistakes. So, uh, let's get started. Now, data validation and drop down list is over here. Go to click on data and then data validation. Okay, and now the, it says uh, validation criteria allow any value. No, what we want to do is have these come from a list. Okay, now it's now asking you for the source. So we click here and then we just type select these. So now what it's saying is the 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 data that's expected in the, these cells are, are one of these uh, uh, names and it's coming from this list that we have just created. Okay. Now, what you can also do is set up an input message. So when somebody clicks here, what you just to make the, your, your spreadsheet a little more user friendly, what you can do is you can put in the uh, input message saying, uh, please enter employee name. Okay. And we say, we don't want any blanks. Click on OK. And now you see when I click on the cell, this prompt shows me exactly what to do. It's telling me that I need to enter employee name and it's coming from a drop down list. So instead of the type, me having to type Bill, Chris or Gail or whatever, I can just select one of these names. Okay. So like I said, in this case, it's not really that uh, difficult to uh, actually type in these names, but if you were doing inventory and these are part numbers then it would obviously be a lot more difficult now we have uh, clock in clock out number of days worked in fact number of days in week so now we have uh, number of days worked in the week now you could uh, just uh, let's put in some more names here. Uh, T. 
Terry, uh, Bill, say Chris, maybe. So we've got this entered. Now, in these columns, what we are expecting is a time field. We need uh, you know, the, the, the data is needs to be time. It cannot be a name or a text. Uh, what you can also do is uh, you can s specify uh, what the values should be, what the expected values are. Okay, let's let's see how that will be done. Go to data validation. Instead of any value, it's a time field. Now, your office timings are from nine to five, for example. Okay, so um, clock-ins are only allowed nine or after nine a.m. and before on or before five p.m. Okay, so you cannot clock in earlier than nine a.m. and you can't. Uh, the system is not going to let you. Uh, you know, if you're working late, you still have to clock out at five. So if if you stayed back and worked till six, it would still the clock out still needs to be at five. Okay, so that would that's what it means the data between start time and end time. So let's put in oh, between nine a.m. to five p.m. Okay, now. Uh, the option is not between, so you could uh, basically all say uh, any time uh, when you, you you do not want people uh, you know uh, clocking in. That could be before 9 a.m. or after 6 uh, 5 p.m. You don't want anybody coming in at, uh, you know, at 6 p.m. and trying to clock in. Okay, so that's what you could do. You use this, or if you want. Uh, clock is to be at a specific time only so you could use equal to not equal to you know these are various options that you can uh, explore now uh, let's put in a message here also please enter time oops, between 9 a.m. oops 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 Okay, so when I'm here, it tells me what to, uh, what the system is expecting, what Excel is expecting me to do. Now, let's see if I were put in, if Joe is trying to be smart and he's uh, extra hard working, he shows up at 8 a.m. and tries to clock in, what happens? The value you entered is not valid. A user has restricted values that can be entered into this cell. Okay, so let's change this to um, 9. It takes that okay now Joe was like I said which was a hard-working fellow and he tried to clock in at 8 show an hour uh, came to the office an hour earlier tried to clock in uh, the system would not let him and now he's also staying back after 5 p.m. and he's clocking out at 6 p.m. what happens again the system is not letting him do that so the maximum time that is allowed is 5 p.m. So let's make this 5 p.m. And it works. Okay. Now, this column here, this is number of days worked in the week. Okay. So uh, you, if you haven't worked at all uh, in the week, so number of days worked in the week would be zero. The maximum, uh, the most number of days that you could work in the week is seven. So let's put in another rule here that it's a whole number so you can't have number of days can't be 0.5 of a day uh, it's expecting you to be a, a full day okay so between uh, 0 and 7 so 0 means you have not worked at all 7 means you have worked every day it does not it's not expecting you to work half a day okay so because we have what we have done is whole numbers Okay, and um, let's click on OK, and uh, let's put a message here. Enter okay, so you click here, it tells you uh, enter the number of days between 0 and 7. Now, the reason why you do that is 
to give a hint to the user, the person who's going to be using this sheet, what type of data is expected here. Okay, now supposing I'm going to be typing a text here. Sister is going to say, no, it can't, you can't do that. It's, that's not the kind of value it is expecting. So, Joe worked seven days a week. Jill worked five days a week. Terry worked eight days a week, if that was possible. But remember, we, we, we said it's going to be between zero and seven. So, eight is not between zero and seven. So, it's, it's not letting you put eight. Okay. So, you put seven, take seven. Now, supposing somebody puts in the negative one, what happens then? Again, you can't do a negative one day. Okay. So, basically what we have done is, just to recap, uh, in these columns here, we have used data validation to create a, a drop-down list. In these two cells, we have specified that the type of entry needs to be a time, uh, needs to be a time of the day between 9 a.m. And 5 p.m. Not it cannot be before 9 a.m. Cannot be after 5 p.m. Uh, number of days of the week have to be uh, between zero, meaning you have not worked at all, or seven days a week, uh, meaning you have worked throughout the week. You, you did not have a day off. Okay. So essentially, uh, this is how you use data validation and drop-down list to make your uh, spreadsheet more user-friendly and also less error-prone. All right. So that brings us uh, to the end of this uh, video. Uh, I hope to hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, uh, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.